So I just discovered a way to add interactive elements to your email blast. Check this out. Forms, calendars, carts, quizzes, and so many other cool interactive elements like spin the wheel. The platform to pull this off is called MailMoto. Made for marketers, it's super easy to navigate, no getting stuck on code. You are going to love this. I'm Phil Palin, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. Today we're jumping into MailMoto together, a platform that I recently discovered that has some really cool features, features that I have never seen before in an email marketing platform, and I'm really excited about them. Every marketer strives for a few things, to increase opens, engagement, conversion among their audience, super, super important. Normally, an interactive element would live outside of an email, hyperlink by a photo, text link, or maybe an animated GIF. But thanks to AMP, A-M-P, however you wanna say it, it stands for Accelerated Mobile Pages. Now, interactive elements in your email show up almost like you'd see them in an app, directly in the email without users having to leave. This is just one of the many cool features in MailMoto that I'm gonna show you up close today. And I'm gonna show you a quick case study, use cases to give you ideas and templates to inspire you, integrations and more. So let's now take a closer look together. So before we jump into widgets and templates, that's the fun stuff, I wanted to show you really quickly uh, a really awesome case study. I'm gonna link to this in the description. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on it right now, other than to say, super cool that a, a big company like Razorpay, maybe you've heard of them, I certainly have, uses MailMoto and just by using more interactive emails, using AMP or AMP, this got them Oh my gosh, 257% higher survey responses. So let's hop over and I'll actually show you what they did. So in this uh, case study, it says specifically through MailMoto AMP email campaigns, they sent out NPS survey emails. And this goes into more detail on exactly what they did. And I think you'll find this inspiring. Again, linking to it in the description below. Now let's get started. By getting started, I mean, let's start designing an email that you can send that incorporates AMP or AMP. MP uh, into an email that's gonna make it more interactive and exciting. So as I mentioned on the top of the video, MailMoto makes this really simple. You do not need to know code to be able to create some really awesome emails. I in particular love the template gallery. So right here you can filter by categories. These are common reasons, uh, motivations behind sending an email, blast announcements, engagement, event bookings, feedback newsletter, and more. You can also filter by some of those AM MP elements that I've talked about. So we'll do exactly that. Let's go ahead and click on, let's say event bookings. There's some really awesome templates in here. I love this one. Let's click preview. This will give us a sense of what this template looks like, at least from a starting point that we could customize with our own brand to be able to send it out. Now, keep in mind, this video is not, um, you know, an extensive tutorial per se. This video is more meant to show you what this platform can do so that you can hop in and actually start to explore it yourself. What you're looking at here is exactly the interface that you're gonna see when you click that link in my description to get started and to try it. It's really fun and really interactive. We talked a second ago, remember, about those NPS surveys. Let's go ahead and click an example on how that looks. These are really, really popular with companies, with startups, with anyone looking to get some research, some product or service feedback to be able to obviously incorporate changes, updates to make um, whatever they're working on better. Um, let's go ahead and click on some of these other AMP elements here. We looked at forms, some examples. We talked NPS ratings. Let's talk quiz. I love this one. So I showed you this one briefly at the top of the video. The idea here is you can click, right? There's the right answer, got it. That's the wrong answer. So here you can set this up. Um, you can also obviously enter other information beyond quiz results, the name, phone number, and all of this is really easy to design, which I'm gonna show you in a second. One more example that I absolutely love. This is so unique. I've never seen anything like this before. This is uh, super unique to MailMoto. Spin the wheel, it's called. Click, stop there, and you can have a, a prize. This is obviously just an example. So I've showed you the template gallery. Let's go ahead and look at the building blocks. So it's broken up here by pre-made blocks, and then any of the blocks that you might save will show up here, starting with headers, obviously a great spot to put your logo, uh, newsletter type, 
uh, blocks. And I mean, how awesome is this? Literally, it's a matter of clicking on one that you like. You can go ahead and click create new template and start to customize that. I'm not gonna click that yet because I wanna show you a few more. You've got really nice footer styles here. These are really, really nice. You've got forms that we talked about, different styles, at least as a starting point. Uh, you've got your widgets. We have looked at these in detail. We haven't talked about all of them. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Uh, the chip selection is really nice. We see this often uh, used by startups and companies. It's a really good way to collect information. Even an image carousel, I love this one. Typically, this is the only th you know the only place I've been able to actually pull this off is on a website, and now we can do it directly in an email. It's super cool. Live price ticker, right? This might be relevant in a newsletter you're sending if it's related to business or the markets. We'll talk in a second about integrations. I'm gonna come back to that. Let's go ahead and get started. Actually, I should show you one more thing, products, uh, products, products, product blocks. So obviously e-commerce brands, if you have a Shopify website, you can absolutely integrate that with MailModa. I said we talk about integrations in a second and we will. Let's get started. You know I love this image carousel, so we're gonna create a template using that. And I'm just gonna show you just how simple it is to create an email blast. So we can obviously organize the blocks here. We can add new blocks by clicking this little plus sign. And then we would go ahead and click layout. There's some layout options. I mean, honestly, it really doesn't get easier than this. It really does not get easier than this. And it's just so fun to play around with. Um, one thing that's really important to keep in mind with AMP or AMP is that this only works with certain browsers, including Google Chrome, for example, which is obviously very popular, but it's not used by everyone. It's important to also set a fallback, which is what it's gonna show if someone is not in a browser that supports AMP. Now, what MailMoto does that makes your life a lot easier, you don't need a custom code or create a new design on the back end. They're taking what you're designing with AMP or AMP in mind, and they are actually creating that fallback for you. So you just you just don't wanna forget about it up here, okay? That's all, that's why I bring it up. If you get in here, you start to play around, start to play around with the widgets, just Keep a little look at that fallback, keep an eye on it, and make sure when you go to send a test email, which you'll do right up here on the right-hand side when you're ready, when it comes time to do that, make sure you double check both your AMP and your fallback. Let's circle back on integrations. I mentioned them a second ago. They have lots of integrations with major CRMs, Calendly, Zapier. I'll give you the full list here in a second. I'll link to this page in the description below. I think this is worth taking a look if you use other platforms and you're wondering if it syncs. HubSpot, Salesforce, very popular. Lots of other ones here. Zoho, I'm a fan of that one. Facebook lead gen forms, awesome. Uh, also, Connector, Zapier is one that I talk a lot about here on my YouTube channel. Zapier I use for a lot of stuff. And obviously, Shopify, one of the you know biggest, if not the biggest, um, e-commerce platform. So that's going to be really useful if you're selling products. If you're a developer, they also have API integration, Zoom, Calendly, Google Sheets. Who does not use those apps nowadays? I mean, pretty much all of us, the Calendly integration is uh, important for the calendar example that I gave you at the top of the video, the widget. So definitely consider how MailMoto might work with other platforms that you're already using, how they integrate. And just to round off some thoughts with some more examples to inspire you, we talked about Razorpay and how they saw this major increase in responses using that NPS survey. There you see it on screen. So here it's an example, more submissions with more interactive forms. That could be a goal of yours. Let's look at a few other examples. Pixel um, was able to get more bookings using the calendar widget. I think you will get more bookings using calendar widget. It means that people don't have to jump off the email. They can actually stay right within it. They saw specifically 137% higher real estate leads thanks to MailMoto. Let's look at a few more examples. You know I'm a fan of these, boosting engagement with polls, quizzes, spin the wheel. Okay, that might be my favorite one. Uh, Blue Smart Mobility. Blue Smart Mobility achieved 35% quiz submissions with MailMoto. That is a seriously high number for quiz submissions, and I'm not surprised because it's easy 
and it's fun. Let's look at one more example. This is super, super cool. The Indian Express, a very big publication, was actually able to update the news in the email that was sent to their subscribers in the morning versus the afternoon and the evening, all thanks to AMP or AMP. That is so super cool and you can do it with MailMoto. Finally, last example, just to again, get you inspired. This is a little bit more of an advanced example, but you can actually calculate inside an email. You can use this calculator. In this case, email return on investment calculator. Super interactive, super awesome, and really stands out from other emails people are getting in their inboxes. So that is MailMoto. Sending interactive emails, I bet, is going to help you get a better ROI. It's also going to be more fun for your subscribers and for you. I've had a ton of fun using this tool, and I cannot wait to see how my audience responds to these. I've linked to MailMoto in the description below. Go take a look for yourself. You can try it for free thanks to their 21 day free trial. And I promise you will not be overwhelmed in this platform. It is easy to use and I really appreciate that. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which we work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. A huge thanks to MailMoto for sponsoring this video. This was a lot of fun to make. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching. Those videos are coming up next.